you're not going to be disappointed when you leave the gravel. In fact, I just did a long section of deep gravel and uh, my teeth were practically chattering. So it's nice to right now have a little bit of uh, relaxation and pavement. So my detour didn't work at all. It actually looped me back around. Well, I've come to the end of the track for section nine, which I thought would drop me off in a town called Cedar, but instead it just dropped me off in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> First of all, welcome to the channel and thank you for stopping by. When time permits, please consider subscribing. I'd greatly appreciate it. I am in Lawrenceville, Pennsylvania. I just did 240-ish miles to start the top of section nine of the Mid-Atlantic BDR. For those of us in the Northeast, the end is the beginning. So I'm a little bit tired from hitting all of the road miles. Thank God for my Atlas throttle lock and for my ergo seat on my bike because that is a lot of pavement to start at 7 a.m. It's 11.30 now, so I made fairly good time. I'm gonna do a little bit of chain maintenance, try to get some lunch, and then see if I can follow the tracks and actually find the uh, BDR. I just wanted to grab a little bit of the pavement here. And yeah, it's pavement. You're not on dirt, you're not on gravel, but you're still in Pennsylvania farm country. This is absolutely a beautiful ride. About five miles outside of Lawrenceville and we've finally gotten off of the highway into the beautiful farmlands of Pennsylvania. I purposely did not look very closely at the uh, maps. I'm following my tracks and I don't know what's going to be dirt. I don't know how long the dirt's going to be. I don't know when it's going to get to the serious dirt that I know is on section eight and nine. I am just riding and just enjoying section nine. Well, so far it's been, I'd say 70% pavement and 30% gravel maybe 25 percent gravel and five percent really deep gravel which is a joy to ride on when your bike is fully loaded in the back and the front end is light because all the front end does is just go like this and all you can do is relax and let it happen but now we are at the tioga or tioga i have no idea state park in pennsylvania so i'm hoping that this will be a halfway decent road and uh, maybe a little more than gravel we shall see All right, Tioga, and I think I'll go with that pronunciation, Tioga State Forest. Gotta tell you, while this morning started out incredibly cold at 51 degrees, it got hot at about 10 o'clock, so the shade here, ooh, this is nice. Most of the trip from Lawrenceville to here was farm country, so there was no shade whatsoever. This is a welcome change. Oh, don't go off the right. I'm kind of torn. On one hand, it would be nice to know what's coming up. You know, I could plan my stops a little better. But it is kind of exciting. Just, I have no idea what's around the next corner. I don't know if this forest lasts for 10 miles, 20 miles, or one mile. I don't know if I'm gonna be hitting the pavement afterwards or going down a muddy road. You know, I looked at some videos, but pretty much just to see if I thought my tires were gonna be okay for it, which eh, there are some de definitely some sections in eight and seven where I'm not entirely sure that my Trail Max missions are gonna be great in the mud and it is supposed to rain tomorrow, so that'll be a really fun day. But for things like this, dirt, gravel, I think all of section nine is gonna be fine. Of course I say that and now watch me find a water crossing with uh, six inches of mud in the bottom. But back to the beginning of the story, I really don't know what's coming anywhere. I just know that uh, I wanted to do it. I thought I'd have fun doing it. Holy shoot, don't want that to fall. So here we are and we're seeing how it's gonna go. Well, first little dilemma, I'm supposed to go down a uh, right asphalt road, which is unfortunately closed for construction. So I took a look on Google Maps and this seems to run 
into a road that that intersects with later. So if I follow this, which is bare hollow, with a little bit of luck, I will come to a road that I didn't see a name for, hang a left, and it will intersect with the road I'm supposed to be on. Oh no, off my tracks. Wow, well, hopefully we get back without too much of a detour. And if not, I mean, I'm in a forest. The best place for a detour. So my detour didn't work at all. It actually looped me back around. But fortunately, there was room for a motorcycle. And these guys were kind enough to let me through. So I am back on my path. I tell you, the Tioga State Forest does not disappoint. This is just, it's all shaded. It's all packed dirt with a little bit of rock or gravel where they filled it in in a few spots, but just a beautiful, beautiful place to ride. I see so many birds. There are tons of deer. Only one of them has come near the road, but if you look up on the hills, I keep seeing deer. So if you want to see some wildlife, this is probably the best part of Section 9. These roads don't look like they're used all that often. Oh, here's the road closed on the other side. The gentlemen were nice enough to allow me to skirt around their equipment on my motorcycle, which was fantastic. I really appreciate that. They very well could have just told me to turn around like I should have. But after wasting, well, I won't say wasting, after enjoying about 25 minutes of riding through the forest, looking for a way back to the route I'm on unsuccessfully, I was extremely grateful that those three guys let me through. But I'm gonna get back to riding and I will catch up when we hit the end of section nine. Well, I've come to the end of the track for section nine, which I thought would drop me off in a town called Cedar but instead it just dropped me off in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so, uh, my thoughts on section nine. It was fantastic. I don't really know what the percentage was. It felt mostly dirt, but anytime I was on pavement, it just kind of dragged on a little, even though it was pretty. And anytime I was on dirt, it felt like it was over too soon. But I would definitely say mostly dirt, and that's all you're gonna think about. I can't even remember what the beginning of section nine was like because it was just so great to just ride through the two forests I went through, the Tioga and then something else. I was surprised I didn't see a single rider all day. I thought with rain coming in the next two days that people would be like hurrying through to the end, but that doesn't appear to be the case. Well, time to find a place to spend the night because originally I had intended to drive down and stay here at the top of section nine. But I got out of work early, so I just rushed down here, and now my schedule is all... I don't know where the hell I'm going to stay, because where I was going to stay is 50 miles away. All right, if you stuck around this long, I appreciate it. Take care.